Hi everyone, here we are going to study Python. In this video, Python programming part one, we are going to discuss operators in Python. Operators are special symbols in Python that carry out arithmetic or logical computations. The value that the operator operate on is called the operand. For example, one plus two equal to three here, one and two are operands and plus is the operator. Next, we have to study types of operators. We have six types of operators in Python. They are arithmetic operators, comparison operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, assignment operators, and special operators. In arithmetic operators, we have seven types. They are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, floor division, and exponent. Now let's move to the coding part. Here I am using Jupyter Notebook for running by Python command. First addition. 2 plus 3, here we get the output of 5. Next, subtraction, 4 minus 3, here we get the output of 1. And multiplication, 3 into 4, here we get the output of 12. Next, we have division 4 divided 2. Here we get an output of 2. Next, modulus. We use percentage sign to indicate modulus. 3 modulus 2. Here we get an output of 1. Next, floor division. Here we use two division operators, nine floor division four. Here we get an output of two. The floor division indicating the highest va integer value of the output. Next we have exponent. It is nothing but a power. Let's use. 2 square indicated by this, the output will be 4. Next, we have comparison operators. There are six comparison operators in Python. They are greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Let's move to its scoring part. 2 greater than 1. It's true. Next, less than 2 less than 3. Equal to. Here we use double equal sign to indicate equal to. 2 equal to equal to 2. Next, we have not equal to, we use this sign instead of 1 equal to, to indicate not equal to. Then we have greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, here, 2 greater than or equal to 2. Output will be true, then 3 less than or equal to 4. The output will, will be true. Then we have logical operators. There are three logical operators in Python. They are AND, OR, and NOT. They are used as x and y 
x or y and not x. Next, we have bitwise operators. There are six bitwise operators in Python. They are bitwise and it is represented by and sign. Then bitwise or, bitwise not, bitwise XOR, bitwise right shift, bitwise left shift. Then we have assignment operators. There are 13 assignment operators in Python. They are assignment, addition assignment, subtraction assignment, multiplication assignment, division assignment, modulus assignment, floor division assignment, exponent assignment, and assignment, or assignment, XOR assignment, and right shift assignment and left shift assignment. Let's discuss its coding part. First assignment, simply a equal to two. This is the assignment. Then print a. We'll print two. Next we have addition assignment, then A plus equal to three. Then after print A, it will give us five. Next we have subtraction assignment. And this line and then print it will give us minus one next we have multiplication assignment and this line first then this after running that line print this will give us six. Next, we have division assignment. Faster in this line, then this will give us one. Finally, we have special operators. There are two types of special operators in Python. They are identity operators and membership operators. In identity operators, there are two. They are is and is not. Is true if the operands are identical, refers to the same object. That is, x is true. If the value of x is true, then this code will return as a true and is not true if the operands are not identical, do not refer to the same object, that is, x is not true. Next, we have membership operators. There are two types in membership operators. They are in and not in. In is true if value or variable is found in the sequence, that is, x 5 in x, if the value 5 is present in x, then it will give us true, otherwise false. And the next thing is not in. If true, if value or variable is not found in the sequence, that is 5 not in x, this code will return as true if 5 not present in x. We have discussed all operators in Python and have run some code in Jupyter Notebook. This session is over. Thank you for listening.